Rick, thanks. Well, it's the year of innovation at the Da Vinci Science Center. So this morning, we are talking about how innovation can profoundly impact people's lives as we kick off a brand new season of Up and Atom Science. To do that, we welcome back our good friend, Chief Scientist David Smith from Da Vinci, and some friends from Good Shepherd Rehabilitation, who you will meet in just a second. Stay tuned for that. Welcome back. Thank you, Eve. It's great to it's be great back. It's great to see you. We've been in Up and Atom withdrawal, so we're excited to start a new season. So talk to us about what's happening during this year of innovation. It sounds fun. The year of innovation is really great, and uh, we have several really cool things going on. Right now we have Tech City, mm -hmm. which is a traveling exhibit all about problem solving through engineering in urban environments. Oh, fun. And not just engineering bridges and buildings, although that's part of it, but yeah. also things like menus. So it's a lot of things that, that people can come and do and be interactive with. Yeah, I know you guys sent me a little list in getting ready for today. Three traveling exhibitions, including Tech City, which you mentioned, new permanent exhibits, and a fun visitors program. Well, several fun visitors programs. One of them happening Thanksgiving weekend. That's right. right. We have Thanksgiving leftover science. Okay, this is always And we brought some Thanksgiving leftovers oh, just for you now, today, Eve. These, these may not look like your typical uh, Thanksgiving leftovers, but that's what right. do you have? We, we've done a little cooking at home oh, already, so we have some, kind of we have some cranberries, oh, which have been pureed in water, yeah. and then they've had oh, nice. soap added to them, oh, and meat tenderizer thing. and salt, okay. and that's to break down the cells and release some of the DNA from the inside of the cells. And today we're going Delicious. to extract some of that DNA. All right, let's do that. So you're going to take some cold alcohol here, some okay. isopropyl alcohol, and just gently pour it down the side of Boy, the tube. I have tube. to pour here, huh? Let's, let's do this it. is going to test all your all your cooking oh. skills. <laughs> well, there we go. You're, Keep going, that's, fill it up. Yeah, give, give me a couple inches in there okay. at least. That's great. All right, good. Okay. Now, you can take that and give it a little stir. Okay. And do you notice anything? Uh, gently stir um, it, flowing oh, around in there. Sure. You can see some uh, bubbles. Yeah, a little bubble action. And there's some stringy like the stuff in stuff. there. And the stringy stuff is DNA. Oh, that's DNA that's floating around my so cranberry every concoction. Every living thing has DNA in it. And okay. this is a way that uh, kids at this. home can explore that. So if they come for Thanksgiving leftovers at the Da Vinci Science yeah. Center, they'll get some hands-on fun like this? They'll get to play with things like cranberry juice and um, other uh, Thanksgiving foods that I we uh, do some science experiments with. They'll have a great time. And the same thing here? This does this the same is, thing? This is peas. Oh, okay. And uh, we can do the same thing with that. Okay, good. I'll do that in just a second. And as as always, there's a fun message that goes along with all the hands-on fun at Da Vinci, right? That's right. Well, creativity and innovation is a serious thing, mm -hmm. and it's really important for the economy of the Lehigh Valley. And um, we're engaging kids already, uh, young kids, and thinking about how they can be the creators and innovators of mm -hmm. the future. Okay, great. And then speaking of the important message, we want to welcome our friends from Good Shepherd. Nicole Smith, one of the physical therapists, is here with one of her patients, uh, Kevin. And Kevin is going to come walking out using the exo exoskeleton, right, Dave? And you guys have partnered with Good Shepherd. Tell That's us a little, right. a little bit about that. Come on out, guys. Join the party here. This is uh, a really amazing example of uh, scientific and engineering innovation. Um, something that would have been science fiction just a few years ago is now science fact, thanks to uh, the work of the engineers wow. who put this system together. And Nicole, I know you're you're helping Kevin and doing a great job. But talk to us a little bit about the exo exoskeleton and why this is so great for Kevin. So the exoskeleton is a bionic suit that patients can wear. It is um, battery powered, uh -huh. and it allows patients to stand for longer periods of time and walk for long, greater distances. Okay. So it's been a great tool that we've used in therapy, um, patients like Kevin, as well as patients who also have sustained a stroke as well. Okay, so Kevin, typically you use a wheelchair until this technology, right? Correct. Okay, now so tell us, what was it like when you got into this suit, so to speak, for the first time? <clears throat> it was really emotionally yeah, I imagine. Uh, you know, um, standing up, able to walk, and walk normal instead of trying to do something, you know, everybody's trying to put your feet. And it was amazing just to be able to stand and walk. And then once you mastered the walking, it just took off. It was like chewing bubble gum again. Wow, wow. And how often are you able to use this suit? I'm able to use this suit two to three times a week uh -huh. uh, to help me walk and also make me stronger 
for my other type of legs that I use. Wow, and Nicole, I'm sure this is, must be great for you as a therapist to see the, the um, you know, so many of your patients being changed forever because of this innovation, right? Yeah, we've had so many great experiences. Kevin is just one of the many that we have um, really helped at, at Good Shepherd, so. Okay, and Dave, this is why science is so important, right? Absolutely, and this is why our focus is on making science fun and exciting for kids uh, and for adults so that people wow. um, learn more about these innovations, learn more about the science that's behind them. All right. Well, from cranberries to innovation and science, we thank you all for being here. And Kevin, thank you for doing that demonstration for us. We're glad you're doing so well. Thank and you. we will have all the information and an, a fun activity, right? We will have the directions to do your own DNA extractions oh, at home okay, on the good. website. Maybe an idea while well, mom's making turkey dinner or dad, whoever gets to have the cooking responsibilities, the kids can be uh, making some DNA. That's right. Okay, I love that. Okay, more information online, WFMZ.com or at DaVinci Science Center. Thank you, guests, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you.